When you pick a subject, and you've, you know, we've had Prince Charles and we've had Richard Branson and we've had a whole host of people, Maxwell, who I'm quite keen to talk to you about, a whole host of people, do you go into writing a biography assuming the worst about the individual, assuming the best about the individual, being open mind How do you pick and choose those that you write about? Well, I only pick and choose people who are influential. They've got to have power or want to exercise influence over society. Yep. I don't pick people who uh, don't enjoy the exercise of telling people what to do and how governments should work or run governments. And invariably, those people are, by definition, narcissists and people who have tried to cover up their past. And my technique, my enjoyment, is to find the victims of their climb up the greasy pole who tell me the truth about what happened in the past, which they've tried to cover up. And that invariably leads to some amazing revelations and the truth about people. I mean, whether it's Tony Blair or Gordon Brown or uh, Boris Johnson recently, <laughs> let alone Tiny Rowland and Mohammed Fayed, all of them. They all got skeletons in the cupboard. They've all done things which they would prefer us not to know about. But at the same time, they're trying to tell us how to run their life, how to run our lives. So that's the incentive. And so is it, for those that reach the top, you know, whether it's Robert Maxwell, newspaper tycoon, uh, you know, Blair, successful prime minister, winning three general elections. I mean, is it necessary to be a narcissist then to, to, to those that strive to reach the top? Are they all narcissists? Yes, there's nothing wrong with being a narcissist. I mean, you can't get to the top and stay at the top if you're sensitive to criticism, if you don't have a total and utter belief in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, then you won't get people to follow you. So there's nothing, in my view, wrong with that. Uh, when you say Tony Blair was a successful Prime Minister, yes, that in your terms he was, because he won elections. He won three. But in my terms, he was a terrible failure. Uh, and the book, which I think of the 26 I've written, is the most, most important, exposes how Blair was actually a rather poor Prime Minister. I mean, he lied about so many things, mm. destroyed so many things, not least the Iraq War, yeah. but also on immigration, on the health service, and on education... Uh, it was bad on the army. I mean, there's a lot of things on energy. The reason we have an energy problem now... They started it. Is he yeah, started yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All those things. Yeah. Uh, and that all started under Blair, and I found that fascinating because he had got the media on his side. Everyone was saying how marvellous he was, and I discovered the truth by literally interviewing the civil servants at the bottom of the pile and working my way up to the permanent secretaries and the departments or the generals and field marshals and discovering the truth.